All right, we're assuming now that the new co-main event of the evening is going to be GM3 with Gerald Mearshart uh, against the newcomer Rainier DeRitter. And this is a newcomer to the UFC, not a newcomer to MMA. And right. you can, I think people in these circles can understand why he's a $3 favorite. The problem here is, and I couldn't get home in this fight uh, on the side. I get, did get there in the total. Is that if you decide to grapple with GM3, Good luck. Like that's that's where it's going to get really interesting if this fight hits the ground. I know Dorito probably thinks, ah, he hasn't seen my level of grappling. The fight stays standing. I think Dorito's going to win this thing, and it's going to be a, a nice, sparkling debut in the UFC. But Kyle, where I went to is the under, because normally if you get Gerald out, it's early, right? He can't handle the hands. Uh, Dorito comes out like a house on fire. It's a small octagon here at Apex, and. If you can't conversely get GM3 out and all of a sudden he gets one leg, like there's no fear other than a fighter feeling GM3 getting a leg. And all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you are in peril before you know you're in peril. I don't think this thing goes 15. I'm going to play the under. I got it at two and a half earlier, but you see the price point here. You can get really good plus money at seven and a half minutes at bet us at plus an hour 45. I'm going to lay the small juice at a dollar twenty-five, but mm-hmm. that is even better money, and I don't hate that bet at minus uh, under seven and a half minutes. Yeah, and the uh, Ritter's starting to make me a little bit nervous. I don't know about Ooh. you, but uh, there's just something about him. I know he had this huge winning streak, a lot of submission victories in his career, and then it's kind of been the string here over the last uh, since December of 2022, three straight losses. Uh, Round three, he just gave up against Anatoly Malikin. Now, Anatoly Malikin is going to be in the UFC soon. That's a undefeated. You'll, you'll hear about him later. I promise you we'll be talking about him as a favorite, a debut against a veteran. That's going to happen sooner rather than later. Undefeated, absolute monster. So I'm not going to hold that against him. But in a grappling match, unanimous decision loss to Ty Ruotolo, not great. Uh, his first fight against Malikin, he had gotten knocked out in the first round so we fought him twice <laughs> and took it then he comes back and gets the knockout win uh against Kaz- Kazayev at UAE Warriors 51 which isn't terrible the guy's six and two he's all right so it's a big price tag I was real close to GM3 by sub and taking the big plus money because I when he loses he seems to get he seems to get taken out of there and yep. GM3 is one of the most dangerous people on his back on the ground especially if you hurt him on the feet he's a dangerous wounded duck uh I didn't pull the trigger but if I was going to bet this it would be complete dogger pass mirror sharp by sub some sort of capacity like that well, and I heard Gerald speak this week and like he never takes offense to newcomer coming in big favorite he looks at it like no this is great like I, I it's a challenge for me still even in his advancing age I think he looks at it like he says, hey, if this guy wants to roll with me, like, let's go. I mean, I, clearly he's going to welcome a fight like that. Do, do you think, even though, it's, I don't know if you remember in Rocky, right? Where, well, of uh, course you know, I do, Paulie's, obviously. The, orig- <laughs> the original Rocky, right? Where, where Paulie's like, hey, he's disrespecting you. And he's like, hey, don't bother me none. And then the seminal moment, he walks out and he says to Adrian, remember when I said it didn't bother me none? It did. I wonder yeah. if GM3 secretly he does get bothered. That you throw the kid in with me. Don't you know who I am? Don't you respect my game? Don't you know my ground game? Do you think privately he goes, oh, great, yeah, give me the newcomer. I'll introduce him to what real grappling is and what submission is uh, on the ground. Absolutely. And I think GM3 is very mercur- mercurial, if you will, yep. mental. He's a really mental fighter. And I, if you think that he hasn't watched, if you don't think he's watched his fights and realized, I mean, we're talking about sub. when he loses, he loses by sub. If you don't think he has an exact path in his mind of how to get to that exact point, you'd be sadly mistaken. I'd be very, very careful. That this is the one, like you know, a lot of people like to make those favorite parlays. You take all the favorites and you hope it works oh, no, out no, and no, get no, these no, big. No, pro- no, no, no. And this one would make me nervous as hell because I'm telling you, there's just something greasy. I don't know exactly what's happening here, but there's something. This is a trap. I hate to say it, but this there's something trappy about this one. GM3, absolutely a live dog. And sub round two or three, get that bloated price tag. I would take the bigger money. Rounds two, round three submission I, uh, on yeah. GM3. That's really how I'd want to go on this one. No official play for us here uh, on the side, but I think we're both leaning, everybody, if you're listening out there at home, to the GM3 side. 
and it would be by some. I, I think that's yeah. where you have to play it if you're going to play mm-hmm. a Mearshart here. But you're right, man. If you start to roll with this guy, you not you Oof. don't even realize the peril you're in until it's too late. So I do think that's really smart round two or three. Look to the sub prices uh, here at BetUS. But officially for me, it's an underplay, two and a half rounds at a small price point here, $1.25. Again, we all... 